I was diagnosed with primary progressive multiple sclerosis. 2005, I had it. I was walking okay. 2006, I had it. I was beginning to walk with a bit of a limp. I was walking really slow down the subway stairs. 2007, I started walking with a cane. And now 2008, I walk with a walker. It's happening pretty fast. I was living here and I had great health insurance and I was working in the South Bronx teaching kids. And then I moved up to Canada to, to do grad school. So to kind of better myself, which is kind of funny, right? And then I came back to New York afterwards to kind of continue with my career. And now, now that I have a pre-diagnosed condition, this is not exactly the easiest thing to do. I can't really afford physical therapy, right? So this is my form of physical therapy. You know, working with a personal trainer, you know, it's as close as I can come. What it is, is in your brain, the white blood cells, it's called autoimmune, because the white blood cells are eating away at your nerve endings in your brain. So it's disconnecting these muscles from getting the signals that they should get from your brain. I applied for what, what's called Medicaid. And Medicaid is for people with low income, and it gives them health coverage. We are sending you this letter to tell you that you are, your medical assistance has been denied. For the kind of uh, medicine that I need, I'd have to be paying $1,500 a month. It's a little bit of a pickles system that we're dealing with here, and nobody really has any answers for it. The one great thing about Obama, what he would actually do is universalize healthcare and make it easy for people that were self-employed, were part of a small business. It would make them easy to actually like go in and they wouldn't be denied. Any people, regardless of having a pre-diagnosed condition, if they're completely healthy or what.